my people welcome back to another video i'm eating bread like a thief i'm so hungry as we all know i did goddess braids floor length we all know i'm extra like that let me show Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking out my braids and I'm going to be discussing or having a conversation with you guys. Let's start. Rome was not beauty one day. Let's start. I've had these braids for less than two weeks and it's already messed up because the complexion of the first of the complexion. My hair texture is so soft. I put up a question here so we could discuss and have fun. You guys ask me a lot of questions, uh, a lot of topics for me to share my opinion on. <gasps> Excuse me. Also, I have a code, a very nasty code. So we begin. Yay. One down. Let's see. God, I'm so tired. Ah! I need Red Bull. Baby. Pew, pew, pew. I don't like this one. Tastes like agbo. Okay, someone is saying I share my opinion on the use of social media. I feel lately I've actually been taking it real easy. I haven't really been putting pressure on myself to post for you guys. Mostly because I've been channeling my energy to YouTube. It's not like I don't post to. I post like I'm posting on Instagram, but I'm not as active as I used to be. I'm a holiday, please. You people cannot pressure me. Twitter ban. To be honest, almost since they banned that app, I swear to God, I've not opened. I don't know what it's like on that street. I've not been to that street. Twitter is the street. For me to go and download the VPN to use an app, I dash people with the app. People should eat the app. Oh, please pass me that kitchen scissors. Um, Jackpa. <laughs> I don't come on Lagos, I beg. I don't forgive myself. Thank you. This thing is harder than I thought, so see me for me. I can beat myself, I can't beat myself. So they told me, let me take it to the side. I said, no, I'll lose it and do a YouTube video. Here I am, struggling. Oh. If I cut my hair, it would be so tragic, but... circle has been in fact do i even have circle i feel i have learned to be very private or to be very intentional with whoever i am letting into my life i don't just be going around and telling a lot of people shit about me because a lot of people are smiling on your faces but you don't want to know what is going on in their mind guy Hmm. Your mind feel worse past hellfire. So feel worse past the plan devil self get for you. Some people worse past devil. Kai, when God sees some people's hearts, you will be shocked. You say, eh? So you are capable of thinking about such? Hey, alwe me, my dear. We all just have to be really careful because hmm, you don't know who is who. You get me. You guys just. Someone said, I love you. I love you too. Thank you. And someone said, relationship with opposite sex. Hmm. It all depends on you and your standards and the kind of relationships you decide to have with the other sex. Some people can say that they are not capable of being casual friends with the opposite sex without getting sexual or getting intimate, which is very, very wrong. I find that very, very appalling because that means you have zero to no self-control. You actually have no self-control. Like You're just a zabu zabu person, anything that comes your way you allow you are not protecting your energy you're just you're just being very passive about your life and when you're very passive about your life and very passive about the people you let into your sexual life trust me it's going to tell on you it's going to tell on you because sex is very very spiritual it's very very intimate it's not just two private parts coming together it's it's like for everybody you slept with, you have a part of them in you. Like it or not, it's like, for everybody you slept with, 
you have a part of them in you so you really have to be conscious because some people don't have good spirits stay woke shy eye um, someone said you're so beautiful thank you someone is saying confidence how do you love yourself you love yourself by accepting yourself for who you are all your flaws your imperfections your what makes you 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 just have to love yourself before anyone can even love you if you don't love yourself and you expect people to love you it's not going to work see me now my skin is not clear clean i don't have the flattest belly i don't also have the biggest breast so if even use my skin to insult me that i'm too pale i should go and tan brother sister i don't want to tan this is how i am even if i stand in sun to date it tomorrow i might tan yeah i might get some burns but this is my complexion this is how i am Someone said, you're my role model. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How do you get over someone toxic? Hmm. Um, uh, <laughs> this is a deep question. It takes prayer and grace of God because, let's be honest, when someone's even toxic to you, I don't think you realize it. You don't realize it, you know. It's people around you that will see it and that will tell you. So, you just have to have good people around you that have your back that wants the honest and best for you in this life because if not you will drown in that toxic relationship how to get over someone toxic you have to pray you have to want better for yourself and you have to do better for yourself you have to know that you are a queen and you deserve queen treatment so therefore anybody that's giving you less should get the fuck out you use the motherfucking door okay you don't tolerate trash over here period <laughs> Someone is asking me money management. I honestly have this app that deducts money from my bank account weekly, like twice a week. So you can actually set it up for yourself how you want to be. Do you want to save daily? Do you want to save weekly? Do you want to save monthly? How much do you want to save? What's the plan for the funds? You get stuff like that. I think that should help you. Just get an app or something that helps you save. You always have to save save for the rainy days you are only responsible for now you're not responsible for the future so and your actions now determines your future someone said brand trying to play smart on you as an upcoming influencer to be honest there are a lot of really cunning cunning tricky brands out here trying to take advantage of people that know little to nothing about influencing you have to do your research you have to ask your friends or ask people around you be very open-minded sometimes some brands can even offer you good money but when they tell you deliverables when you realize that it's not what it is and you always have to read through contract go through it with your lawyer go through it with probably your mom or whoever you trust around you have them go through contracts with you before you sign check the brand authenticity and stuff like that i have a very nasty code someone said moving out of your parents house well <laughs> did i actually move out of my parents house i didn't move out of my parents house i was kicked out of my parents house that's a story for another day life came at me so fast and god was really on my side he really said that this is my child i will not let you go through so much pain you have already been through so much so he literally provided for me when i needed it he didn't let me like oh man see god has just been amazing the shout out to everybody staying alone shout out to every young person staying alone or taking care of themselves like having to be responsible for themselves is not easy Okay, someone is saying what to avoid and what to take into consideration before being an influencer. Well, you have to first of all know your niche, the kind of brands you want to associate yourself with, the kind of content you want to put out there. All these things matter. Don't do influence because you see a lot of people doing influence. Trust me, it's not gonna work for you. If it's not your calling, it's not your calling. Find another thing. Don't get stuck or carried away in people's lifestyle that you're not saying you want that for yourself when probably what God has planned for yourself is even bigger than that. Don't get carried away in your fantasies. Just because you see people doing so well while at it, 
does not mean you do so well or you now want to copy them or imitate them and do exactly what they're doing my dear if you don't know yourself and what you're capable of you will fall huh. this fall will be painful you capsize it will take grace of god for you to come back to get your standing know your strengths know what you want to be identified for and let God lead you. <laughs> so what's that? We run our streets, so we did not even hear about vacation or, any, or anything. We just started waking up to hot pictures. Now you've choked us now. <laughs> My mother would say, don't tell people your next move. Move like a snake. <laughs> when you see me, you see me. If you don't see me, you don't see me, okay? I want to say you're so beautiful, Steph. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Growing up as a child slash teenager, I went to a boarding school, I lived with my stepmom and my dad. Anytime I came back home for holidays, I wasn't allowed to go out, friends were not allowed to visit me, I didn't have a phone. I didn't have a phone until I was like 16, I think I bought myself my first proper phone. And the first proper phone I bought for myself was from Jumia. <laughs> oh my god. Then my boyfriend gave me money to buy an iPhone 7. But I didn't have clothes, I didn't have makeup, I didn't have nothing. So this boy sent me like 150k then. I think that was like the price for iPhone 7. Me, Ibo babe, carry 150k to go and buy one phone. When I buy the phone, what would I recharge the phone? My teeth? Huh? Hmm. I divided the money. I kept 50k aside for spending. I now enter junior. I bought makeup products, I bought clothes, I now bought one phone of like 27,000. This one was embarrassing. But I attended Community University, so like I had an iPod. If you're watching this video and you attended Community University, you know what an iPod is. iPod does not use SIMs. So I bought the phone to use the MiFi and just to accept calls. But for my social media to take my pictures, Snapchat, and all of that, I was using my iPod. That's how. I was able to communicate with people. Honestly, growing up was 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 not rosy, but I don't regret it. I wouldn't actually change nothing because it all factors in to make me the person I am. Today. Okay, someone is saying travel tips. I don't have issues traveling because I have my dual citizenship. Places where Nigerian passports will want to fuck me up. I'll just bring out my Australia and because of the current situation of the world, you have to make sure you're vaccinated. Because there are some countries that if you're not vaccinated, they can't grant you access. Currently, I'm in Ukraine. When we were at um, immigration, we had to present our COVID vaccine slips. And you always have to do a COVID test. And in Nigeria, to do COVID tests is 50K. <laughs> going and coming, you know, you have to pay 100K going and coming COVID tests have money you make your bookings ahead of time the person will pick you up from the airport where you stay um a tour guide that's all about it me are not to distress they don't they put me for bag i don't have to go through visa stress or visa wahala i just buy my ticket and i'm off someone said things you wish you knew better ah <sighs> that's a deep question every day we learn to be honest i have no regrets the way I've lived my life, everything, I have no regret because at the time when whatever whatever was happening in my life, I did what I could do to the best of my knowledge with any and everything that was available for me at that point. Someone's asking how old are you? I beg, I'm old enough. This news, come on! Okay, someone said, this one how to be an influencer or a content creator maybe your success story too okay let me give you a little story time i actually said this at germain's master class the bts master class that happened in lagos if you attended the bts master class drop a comment i started modeling 2016 i started as a face model as a beauty model i was staying in worry then it actually started in confidence university I was walking to the cafeteria and STJ approached me like, ah, he wants to do a shoot for me. And when I was 100 level then, I was such a novice, I was such a loner, I didn't talk to nobody, I always had my headphones on, I didn't have friends. Yeah, let's go back to where we stopped. Okay, 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 okay. I was in the middle of sharing my success story before my manager called me, so I think I stopped where 
um stj approached me in front of the cafeteria i was such a loner i always used to plug my ears i didn't have friends so he organized a team a makeup artist i remember clearly we used all these uh, clothes that they used to decorate church altar we used a pink one to wrap myself and i held one white rose if i find that picture i'll put it somewhere hi when stj edited that picture back then in 2018 when i posted it the internet shook everywhere scar ah who is this beauty this angel you fell from here go and see comments now i had followers like nearly i posted that picture and he edited three so i posted one first when i saw the thing was bubbling i was like hey, we go right this way don't worry for me to take over i posted the first one oh my it had 2000 likes and do you know what it is for you to have 2000 likes back then 2018 eh it's your daddy so from there makeup artists now started reaching out to me photographers started reaching out to me i started from worry i now came to lagos for my it 2019 summer so i studied accounting we had to do it i worked at uh, mr bushi motos in adiola odeku i interned there for was it six weeks i'd be eight weeks let me know like in the course of that eight weeks I would just wake up some mornings and I'll say I'm not in the mood, calling sick. <laughs> After the end of one month, they deducted my salary. They were supposed to pay me 30,000. When I did not go to work for one whole week, they sent me salary of 21,000. I said, you people have done well, thank you. Let me carry my money and be going. I don't work again. Because I was staying in VGC then and I was doing VGC to VI every morning. Do you know the ghetto internships? That's ghetto. If you stay in Lagos, you know that's ghetto. Because the traffic was absurd. God. So a lot of makeup artists now started reaching out. My skin was not even great then. My face, pimple everywhere. Acne, black head, white head, purple head, red head. What did I not have? But they go use makeup, cover everything. Oh, and they didn't even have my shadow. When they would bronze me like this hair, my face would be brown. Yeah, would be white. When we snap the picture photographer we edit it uh -huh, to come out clean. So like that, like that to so brothers and sisters. It doesn't go so I push my cane. No. Next one, someone is asking if I stay alone. I stay with my mom. I don't stay alone. Someone is saying your experience being a public figure, ups and downs, pros and cons. Is it worth pursuing a celebrity life? Let me correct that statement. I did not pursue a celebrity life. A celebrity life met me. My goal was not to be a celebrity. I was not out here clout chasing to be like a celebrity. I was really just out here working, doing what I know how to do best in my best of knowledge. I was really just fending for myself with what I have. There are lots of people doing what I'm doing and they are not popular. There are lots of people doing what I'm doing and they are even more popular. So this life, no balance. Anywhere you did, rock your wave. Experience being a public figure. Well, a lot of people will be all up in your business. A lot of people will want to know what you're doing. Like some people with pure intentions, some people with bad intentions. You have to pray to God. And you also have to be smart. The kind of content and the kind of things you want people to know about you. Dating scene in Lagos. LOL. It is the ghetto. Hmm. A typical relationship in Lagos is Monday to Sunday club. It takes the grace of God to actually find a level-headed partner in Lagos. Find somebody that does not just want to use you. My mom would tell me that, my picking, don't be deceived. Everybody call me Lagos, call hustle. So you have to shine your eye and look well. You have to look before you leap, oh. Hmm. People take you for off with that. People will use you to sweep the ground, mop, wash plates. If you don't know yourself and if you don't know what you want but me stephanie quick i'm an occasional cruise catcher shy eyes that's all i have to say somebody is saying colorism in nigeria if you know worry anywhere i pass oh Ibo, oh Ibo. growing up it was the norm for me it's not like i give a damn what people call me i know who i am whether i call me half caste whether i call me Ibo, whether i call me mixed race whether i call me beke whether you call me white, whether you call me pale, anything you feel like calling me, I know send. I don't let the, what people think about me define me. They don't know me, 
they are just judging based on my outer appearance and my looks are very very deceiving because if you know me you know that for free this complexion that god gave me is really to confuse my enemies because I got your dollar. being a mixed person in nigeria this is relating to colorism in nigeria well people actually have a certain narrative about being white and you're in nigeria different people have their own thoughts and whatever like i said earlier i don't let the thoughts of people define me and like i said my looks are very deceitful period anxiety <laughs> i get anxious sometimes it's not like i have a disorder or anything it's not like any little thing triggers my anxiety or whatnot i can say i actually do a good job controlling my anxiety and how do you take videos of things without your hand shaking i use a tripod baby get a tripod if you want to be a content creator you need tripods you need a big tripod you need a hand tripod you need a table tripod i use my handy tripod whenever i go out and i'm vlogging so excuse me my self-care self-care for me happens in so many ways i work out I listen to music, I take myself out, I treat myself, I do whatever I need to do to make myself happy. I am my baby, yeah. <laughs> I am my baby, exactly. I always want to be in a positive state of mind, talking to my mom, all of that is self-care for me. Someone said, you are just beautiful, I wish you all the best in life, amen, thank you so much, God bless you. I wish you the same. Someone said, love your personality, keep it up, and please try BB Ninja, you fit for a reality show. <laughs> I know a good amount of you guys thought I was going to be in the Shine Your Eye this season 6, but I wasn't of age, and I feel I'm not ready for that. Let the will of God be done. If I'm meant to be on it, I'll be on it. If I'm not meant to be on it... This is already my own baby Niger. You get me? So, whatever I put here, this is my own entertainment show for you. <laughs> Making super cool friends of a classy level slash how to roll with cool people. You want to bamba? You want to G with the big boys? If you want to roll with cool people or you want to associate with a classy level of people, you have to up your own game. Brothers and sisters, you have to up your own game because you don't want to be rolling with the cool people or classy people and you are now the servant in the midst of classy people. You are the ass kisser. You will be the messenger. You shall understand my point. Anything you want to attract for yourself, you have to be that thing for yourself. Be the energy you want to attract. We're almost done, Sha. You see, remain small. You gotta open your eyes, you gotta be smart. Niggas out here hustling. Do not allow a broke nigga hustle you today. Okay? Okay? I promise you it's not COVID. Despite me being so tired and having a runny nose, I actually had a good time filming this video with you guys, for you guys. Um if you enjoyed this make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you drop a comment you share you subscribe and let me know the type of videos you like to see thank you so much for watching this video i love 